Hey everybody, it's Dr. Jensen with CCJ3701, Research Methods and Criminology. So this week is the big week for a lot of reasons. I thought I'd just do a quick video. This week is where it all starts coming together. So by now you've chosen a topic. You may have had to do a little bit of updating and fixing of things, like making sure you have your, your articles in place. You may have to update things like literature review. You had to write a theory section and a method section on your topic and your, and your data making predictions with hypotheses. So at this point in the semester, you've come a little over halfway through your research paper. So congratulations on that. But this is the big week because you finally get the answer to your question. You're going to be running your statistics on your topic, your variables, and getting a result. So you find out, number one, are these things related to each other? And then if they are or are not, how are they related? Or what do I do if they're not? So that's kind of the big takeaway for the week. The other reason it's a big week is because this week kind of pulls together a lot of work and it can be a lot of work to get the analyses done. So again, by now you've made a lot of decisions about your topic. You've looked at code books, you've looked at variables and data, hopefully been able to pin down everything you want to do. You did your descriptive tables on the variables you've chosen. You've described them to the reader, what's in them and what's going on. Now it's time to analyze them. So this means that uh, you have to make decisions about recoding. You have to make decisions about scales or summations. Again, you don't have to recode things. Sometimes it's not necessary. Things are ready to go out of the box and they're organized in a way that is completely fine. It does not require any recoding. Other times it's very necessary. Uh, sometimes you know, you don't need a scale to represent your topic. Other times you want to pull lots of pieces together and you need to build one. So if you have any doubt in your mind whatsoever, please contact me and we can kind of go through that via email or on a phone call and brainstorm and strategize together. This again goes back to how do you want to measure stuff and how do you want to represent things? So most people have to do at least one recode or one scale or summation or both. Um, in order to get everything organized the way they want to measure stuff. So that's pretty normal. But this week is the week to go ahead and apply those changes. And when you do, make sure you write down the ways you go about it, how you change things, how you recode things. Because remember, if you recode anything or build a scale or a summation, it's going to have to go in your method section. So I had you write a method section draft, um, even though you may or may not have applied any changes to your data yet. Um, you can always go back and it's like a couple sentences. You just add those pieces to your data. It's really not bad at all. So, uh, yeah, this is the week to recode and build scales and do all that kind of stuff. And then when all of that is done and you've documented the changes you made to your data in your methods section in that draft, it's time to run the results. So this is where you get to run regression analyses. You get to run uh, bivariate tests and actually put the information in a table and write a few paragraphs about what you found. So this week is a big week because you have lots of skills coming together all at once. Um, what you're actually writing and creating is not long and not bad at all. It's actually pretty easy. As, as soon as you learn how to do it, it's just kind of plugging in all your numbers and writing up a couple paragraphs and you're done. That's basically it, so it's not too bad. Um, but the preparation to get there can be a little bit extensive. So this is a week where you wanna make sure you spend a lot of time in your data a lot of time with your variables. I also have a few other presentations that I'll show you um, what to do if you have any errors or any issues when doing that. Whenever you get issues it kind of reveals certain mistakes that get made from time to time and it's pretty easy to troubleshoot uh, but uh, you'll want to be able to know about them ahead of time or if you find them know what to do if that happens. So um, without further ado I'll turn you loose on the week but just realize this week is probably a little bit of a heavier week. My goal is to try to get you done with about 85-90% of your paper before uh, the last two to three weeks when the paper comes in. So I want to give you plenty of time to have all this heavy lifting done and then in the last few weeks just applying editing and doing some formatting and finishing up and hopefully getting done a little early. And for those of you that are a little behind, it also gives you a chance to catch up a little bit. So good luck and we'll see you on the phone or an email or both for some of you. So we'll see you soon.